The master's program in human rights and democratization in Africa, which started in 2000, tries to address the dire situation of human rights on our continent. We want to create a generation of lawyers who are able, competent, passionate about making human rights work through the regional system. The vision that we had at the start uh, was to fill a vacuum, a lacunae that existed with regards to experts, legal experts especially, in the area of human rights in Africa. People who would change laws, bring cases and staff uh, the African Union human rights institutions. It is one of the most um, respected programs on, pro on the continent. It has been in existence for 16 years now and students on it are admitted from across the continent. It's an extremely competitive program to which we try to ensure as much of Africa as possible is represented. I've been coming to this program uh, as a visiting lecturer almost for the last seven to eight years. And I'm always encouraged by the kind of conversations that I have with the, the students, the kind of insightful comments that I get from the students, the kind of insightful questions that actually get raised, which still uh, gives me a lot of hope that this is one of the few programs that has maintained its quality and has been running for more than almost 15 years now. So it's a very good program and I recommend it. It's not for the faint-hearted, it's for those who actually have the capacity, the caliber, and it's for those who actually want to go out and bring about change on the African continent. The um, Masters in Human Rights and Democratization in Africa is very dynamic, very vibrant, and undeniably challenging as well as intense. It is quite a well-rounded master's degree in that it enriches both your theoretical as well as your practical knowledge. And one of the things that I'm really, really indebted to the center for is the networking that it has allowed me to, um, to get by means of the various short causes that it has, that it offers in terms of disability rights, in terms of um, soggy rights as well, where you can meet various people from various backgrounds, the very students that study on the cause itself, and um, just the wide selection of very renowned, renowned lecturers, such as Sylvia Tamali that we have, um, that is really quite an enriching and humbling experience as well. program uh, consists of intensive classroom teaching with leading professors from across the world. Uh, you do uh, assignments, both written and oral presentations throughout the semester and then write exams uh, in June before you continue to your second semester where you do a dissertation uh, and internship with a human rights organization. Uh, and some additional coursework. There is also an on-site visit. Students go for a week and interview people on human rights issues. They get to understand how human rights issues play out in the practical lives of people. So you also have a focus on, on practical, uh, teaching practical skills and making a, a concrete impact through our human rights clinics. Uh, as part of this clinic work you uh, would for example make submissions to the African Commission on Human and People's Rights or the African Court uh, or assist the work of, uh, of UN Special Rapporteurs. What I can say is that we view you as an applicant as a person made of clay. When you come to us, we break you down and then we remake you such that when you leave the center you're never the same person again. We received in 2012 the first prize awarded by the African Commission to a human rights organization in Africa. Uh, in recognition of the contribution that this program has made to the realization of human rights in Africa and to advancing the human rights work of the African Union. 
and this has come six years after our initial award uh, from UNESCO. So in 2006 we received this UNESCO Award for Human Rights Education which uh, recognized not just what we have achieved but also uh, saluted the method in which we have gone about this. Every year we receive an estimated number of uh, 650 applications and out of that only 30 students are selected. Um, the selection process involves five stages and at the third stage students are, are expected to write an essay which is part of the whole selection. We welcome applications from both law graduates and non-law graduates. Non-law graduates receive a Master of Philosophy on graduation but law graduates receive a Master of human rights. We recognize that human rights should not be only for people who have a law background, but even medical doctors and engineers, everyone needs to have some knowledge and be able to input human rights in the work that they do. It's a very rich, relevant problem to um, the issues of Africa, and although it is very comprehensive, very arduous, at the end of the day, it is worth it. So I would recommend it to anyone who is interested in um, seriously tackling issues of human rights on this continent. This is not a degree that is presented ex exclusively by the Center for Human Rights, but one that we present in partnership with 13 other leading universities in Africa. And these are things that you, a pr prospective applicant, could be a, a part of. And we look forward to uh, welcoming you, hopefully, to the Center for Human Rights in the future.